Hello everyone, welcome to a special 4th of July episode of Who Wants to Be a Super Millionaire. Thank you, thank you. 4th of July, celebrating America's independence. We love to grill hot dogs, have hamburgers and all. It's all about celebrating America's birthday. Uh, Scott, Scott Edward is here. We want to win some million, 10 million dollars. Yeah, set up fireworks, all about it. Yeah, let's see if we can make the fireworks pop on this one. All right, all right. You got, you know how the game works. Fifteen questions, a thousand dollars, all the way up to ten million. Question. Anytime you get a question right, you will win some money. Once you get five thousand or a hundred thousand dollar level, those are yours to keep. No matter what happens here. Now, at any point, you can walk away with the money you've already won. But if you give me a wrong answer, you will walk away with nothing. And we certainly don't want that here. All right, so we give you free life funds for now. 50-50, that was an issue of two wrong answers. Uh, ask the audience, the audience can help you out with a question. And of course, since there's no friend, I will replace that with ask the host. Simple as that. Good, good, good. All right, once we get to the $100,000, once you get to the $100,000 mark, we'll give you two additional lifelines. Uh, dip and the free questionman, which they're on standby, but you do not earn those until you've reached the $100,000 mark. Are we clear on that? <coughs> yep, we're clear. Alrighty, good, good. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Super Millionaire. Question number one for a thousand dollars question usually gets quite easy and get harder. The wage earner of a family is said to bring home the what? Waffles, bacon, cereal, storing office supplies. Oh, you have to bring home the beef bacon, final answer! Indeed, you got a thousand dollars. Off to a good start here, here's two thousand. Which of the following words is monosyllabic? Grimace, gesture, grunt, Schwarzenegger. Monosyllabic. Wait a minute, what are the guys that throws a McDonald's character? I'm gonna think because I think that's just the uh, joke answer. But, an auto of You got, you got lifelines if you want to use them. I'm not going to ask you, Dante. Going to ask me already? Alrighty then, alrighty. Now just to be clear, I'm not giving any of the answers beforehand. So here's what I think. We know it's not Grimace because that's a McDonald's character. So yeah, I know we that. got that one right. Schwarzenegger, we can get that get that away. Monosyllabic is, is an adjective. It's an adjective on the So it can't be a gesture because you're just moving your arms and you know all that kind of jazz. It's grunt because you're just grunting like mm -hmm. And I believe that C grunt is my final answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go with the C grunt final. Alright, Peter, can we show us the correct answer, please? It is monosyllabic. Yep, monosyllabic yeah. is is a of a word or other ends consisting of one syllable, and they use brief words to signify reluctance to engage in conversation. Yeah, yeah. that's an. All right, now for three thousand. Now, someone moving at top speed is said to be going for what ahead? Steam, sleep, gas tank, Monty. Full oh, steam ahead. Hey, final answer. Indeed you are, you got three down. Nicely done. Now for four thousand. A crime scene investigator often does this for what? Clothing fibers, fingerprints, hair samples, blood samples. CSI. <laughs> you 
though I haven't seen even though I haven't seen the uh, TV series CSI on CBS. <laughs> Might be like, if I think, hmm, still got two lifelines. Alright, asking the audience, alright. Here we go, let's vote now. Two percent set clothing fibers, eighty-two percent set fingerprints, seven percent set hair samples, and nine percent set blood samples. Okay, yeah. Yeah, fingerprints was the first thing to go into my mind, so B answer. And you the audience helped you out again, you got four K. Got four thousand. Yeah, it's okay. Hey, Scott, you know, it happens sometimes, you know, you just gotta go with your gut. Yeah. yeah. Now, this is for $5,000, it's also your first safety net, here it is. By definition, a person with a ruddy complexion has what kind of skin? Reddish, dry, oily, wrinkled. Ruddy complexion? Ready, uh... I don't think it's reddish. You still got the 50 50. I think I'm gonna select some uh, from history uh, questions because 4th of July independence. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, that's a good question. Still got 50-50 here. I might as well use it at this point. You wanna use your 50-50? Yeah, you're gonna use the 50-50. Okay. Can we take away two long answers, please? Alright, dry and wrinkled are gone. So it's red, reddish or oily. Oh. So red is still out there. There's an oily too. Body complexion. Yeah, for five K or nothing at all. Five K or nothing at all. Go in there, reddish final. Reddish final. I'm feeling confident about it. You should have been, because you got five thousand dollars. I was covered. Yeah. Well done. Woo! So you got five thousand dollars. That is your first safety net. You're ten away from ten million. No lifelines. So it's all on you now. This is for ten thousand dollars. Here it is. A dike is a bank of earth mainly used to control which of the following: animals, landslides, water. Wind. A dike? A dike. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, this is bigger. Just free guess. It's a free guess. I think of a bang on or that I think of like a water like 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 rivers or such. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with the sea water, Find Master. Alright. That $5,000? You just won $10,000. Oh, it is water! Now you get Now for 20 days. What color is the applicator top of a bottle of Emmer's glue wall? Orange, black, red, green. I know most of the year I was grew had horse tops. I've seen those I was grew bottles that usually have orange. Go with orange. Yeah, orange final answer. All right. You chose correctly. You got twenty bands. Yeah, it, it was orange. Yep, I knew all those ammo glue, ammo glue bottles. Well done. Now for thirty thousand. In a formal business letter, the greeting is followed by what punctuation mark? Hyphen, colon, com, period. All business letter. Hmm. I know I uh, I think I, I knew that a uh, regular letter is just the greeting is just, just, just I know the regular green letter is with a comma, but for the formal business letter, I don't think it was. I don't think it was followed by a comma, so I don't think it's that. I don't think they. I don't think they do it with a hyphen as well. So I'm between colon and period here. <laughs> you have 20k. If you get this wrong, you'll lose 15. I'm thinking that colon here, but I don't want to lose $50,000. I'm going with a big golden final. Yeah.
Okay, um... To be honest, I have never seen America's Sweethearts. I don't know since I since I haven't seen America Sweethearts. This is gonna work right. I'm working away with 30k final. To show you Roberts is an actress, I'm going with a actress. I used that for the friends for that. Thank you. 